Community members are reacting tonight to a disturbing crime coming to light in Falmouth. The three people now charged in connection to an infant's death there, including the mother, more than one year after it all happened. WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan is live in Falmouth. Andrew, the details of this investigation, we have to admit, are very difficult to hear. Walk us through what they we've learned, that is, today from police. Craig and Tanya, they are difficult. According to the documents we got here at the courthouse, the infant's mother left the newborn under a blanket after she went to the hospital after giving birth. At the hospital, she apparently told nurses that she had suffered a miscarriage. The nurses thought otherwise and contacted police. Police went to the home and discovered the baby unresponsive. The mother was having uh, an incestual relationship with, with her uncle. She became pregnant and gave birth. Court documents show after giving birth at home, Kimberly Shepard did not take the baby with her when she went to the hospital. She was transported by Billy Shepard, her grandfather, who stated he, quote, knew the baby was lying in the bedroom on the bed, but never checked on the baby. I've been doing this for about 30 years, and this is the first case I've ever had like this. The mother advised the nurse that it was a miscarriage, but nurses determined that she had given birth and called police. And we found a newborn baby that had... Uh, at the time was uh, not breathing, was under a blanket on a mattress. The medical examiner's office could not pinpoint the cause of death, but says the birth was viable. Now three people are facing charges, including abuse of a corpse, concealing the birth of an infant, and incest. We've got conflicting stories. I do not want to comment what's in there right now. Police say they conducted more than 10 interviews between all three people over the past year. We are dumbfounded. The Holden family just learned that it happened in their new house. We moved, completely moved in yesterday. Now they're working even harder to make their house a home. So we're going to change that narrative. We're going to raise our kids here and make it a happy home. Kimberly and Billy Shepard both bonded out of jail. Newkirk is still being held on a $20,000 bond. His next hearing is later this month. In Falmouth, Andrew Rowan, WCPO 9 News. Thank you.